What's happening to Chuboy Tech Tricks back now video and today we're looking at the High Pad Max by Chewy. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and see how well it does. Here we go. Basically, this is um, Chewy, Chewy's um, brand new tablet that we're going to unbox today. And let's see how well it does. It has... Um, it says here that it has 8 gigabytes of uh, RAM and it has 128 gigs of memory as well. Here we go. Here's the tablet right here. And as you can see here, it has some uh, specifications. Um, it has 7,000 milliamp hour battery. It has a 10.36 inch LCD display. It has a Snapdragon 680 as well. Awesome. Great addition. And the GPU is the Adreno 610. Here's the screen protector here. We're just going to peel the front area here. There you go. There's a built-in um, screen protector there. While that's getting turned on there, I'm going to look at the what else is in the box here. Some accessory kits here. Some power adapter, as you can see there. Um, USB-C to usb USB-A cable, I believe. There we go. It also comes with uh, some literature right here. And the um, little SIM card tool. And that's it. As you can see, the Chewy HiPad Max is actually pretty nice because it doesn't have any um, bloatwares that comes with it. As you can see, it just has the Google Apps. Pretty simple. And this is the apps that I've just downloaded. It didn't come with the uh, Chewy, um, which is really nice to have. So just messages and phone, just pretty basic um, Google apps, which is really nice. The sides has the power button and the volume rockers there. It also has USB-C, great for transferring files. So it does have speakers, two on the top and two in the bottom as well. So we're just gonna try out some uh, bass boosting music here. Where's our... It's about halfway here. Let's try all the way up. It is also equipped with Google Widevine L1 support. And with the Widevine L1, the HiPad Max allows the streaming of 1080p or higher definition content for cinematic viewing experiences. What do you guys think of the display? So looking at the settings here as well for the iPad Max, um, there are two SIM card slot there. One is um, either a SIM card slot or a micro SD slot. It has Android 12, as you can see there. It is also compatible with dual 4G LTE and dual band Wi-Fi. The front camera has the 5 megapixel and a rear 8 megapixel HD camera. Here's a photo of the front camera very usable it's not that crisp but it's still pretty nice to have it added on the iPad max this is a rear camera shot now again it's a little bit better because the 8 megapixel but it's not like the most high def quality it is still good for 8 megapixel quality which is really good uh, so what's happening everyone uh, this is a video test and also a mic test on the uh, on the Chewy iPad max uh, let me know in the comments below if it's any good or not. This is um, the video for the front. And then now this is the video on the back. Again, let me know in the description below if it's uh, any good or not. Um, this is the uh, video test on the back of the Chewy iPad uh, Max um, with the mic test as well and the video test. 
It is also equipped with Snapdragon 680 processor. Um, it provides a much smoother operation when enjoying games, videos, or multitask with work. Um, this sets apart the iPad Max from many other tablets for everyday intensive usage. It also has Adreno 610 GPU, which is really awesome for gaming. For those of you who will use this for streaming and also gaming at the same time. It is also good for up to 512 TF expandable storage and it has 550 megabytes per second reading and writing speed. Now let's try out some games here. This is the uh, Mobile Legends that I usually play on uh, more extensive um, online gaming as well. And for my experience, uh, the couple of games and the, that I've tried, I think it's really good. It works really well. It's very smooth. There's no lag whatsoever. And I was able to get this victory in this game as well, which is really awesome. Now let's try another game. This is uh, Apex Legends. As you can see my FPS up there, you could track it if you want. It says in the top left corner-ish there on the right side of the map. Um, I'm riding around uh, 30 frames per second. And actually during the gameplay, this is all online battle royale with I think 10 plus people inside. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But it was able to do well and we were able to get the uh, victory here as well, which is really awesome. Let's go. Now, for those of you who wants to edit some photos here, it's not just good for gaming. You can also edit your photos right here, right now. So let's try this out. Well, let's try this one right here. And this guy, this guy, and this guy. Let's add those there. So for example, right here, pretty smooth. There you go. You can even do some presets. Change up the exposure. Change out the temperature. Add in some color. There's also some recommended presets. Looks pretty nice, as you can see there. Let's try out a different photo now. Usually if you go to the recommended, it would give you like everything that will work with this photo. So for example, something like this. Maybe a change of um, scenery as well. Just different ones that you can add and try out. Pretty easy to use. 
So you can see the tablet is able to do all that pretty quickly as well without any problems. So the Chewy HiPad also has these camera features, the Pro Mode as the photo, F, H, F, R, and video. Let's look at the Pro Mode. Pro Mode, you can change the isolate to whatever you want. As you can see here, up to um, 3000, I believe, 3200. Um, or you can leave it at auto. There's the auto white balance as well, and cloudy. And you can leave it on auto as well. There's the manual focus, as you can see there. Macro to infinity. So, and then you can also change the EV, how bright you want it. There you go. There's also the zoom up to eight times. There you go. Let's try to take this photo now. Normal photo mode right here. There it is. Some settings as well that you could turn on. Face detection, GPS location. Change the storage because you can have the uh, external hard, you can have the micro SD in there instead. There's the countdown timer that you can change. Uh, burst shots, which is the continuous shots right here. Um, the highest here for the video or the pixel picture size is the eight megapixel right there. Picture quality is high. Exposure white balance, you can change that here. You could turn on or off the shutter sound. I like it off most times. Overall experience, it's pretty, pretty solid device. Um, not slow at all because the games are really good. Watching a show or a movie from YouTube or Netflix, no, no lag whatsoever. So everything will work out well. Now I wouldn't recommend this for um, editing 4K videos, but simple editing like um, 720p or 1080p video, it will work but it won't be um, as efficient. Um, overall, even photo editing, you'll be able to do with this. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new uh, 2V HiPad Max. If you wanna get one of these, I'll link this down below, so go ahead and check that out. It is recommended for people who likes a simple Android device um, tablet for your uh, everyday uh, consumption of media or maybe simple little tasks and gaming as well. If you want to see more videos like these, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.